This school was the venue to resolve the raging issue of the education of two of its young students. The entire Kaidakuri village had gathered. Government officials from the capital city of Tiruvannandapuram and people's representatives were present to mediate and find a solution to the burning problem. The police too was there in strength to tackle any exigencies. The media was in full attendance to witness as to how the issue would be resolved. The students, Benson and Binsi, who were at the center of the issue, came to the venue along with their grandfather. They had tested HIV positive. Therefore, the health conscious village community was not in favor of their entry into the school. The meeting began. The atmosphere was charged. A remark by the local MLA led to a noisy protest. Then came the turn of the parents to air their views. The president of the Parent Teachers Association, Mrs. Deepash Suresh, declared that parents would withdraw their children if the two HIV infected students were allowed to study in the school. The others who addressed the tense gathering after her feared that their children would contact HIV if Benson and Binsi were allowed to study in the school. Some even grew angry. They alleged that their children were being treated as guinea pigs. The meeting, which was the last in a chain of AIDS awareness camps held in and around Kaidakuri village, would not convince the people. The reasoning by the doctors that one would not contract AIDS through social mingling and physical contact did not convince the gathering. They vociferously questioned the authenticity of the knowledge of doctors. It was a sure example of emotions ruling over reason. The meeting ended on a panicked note, and it was left to the government to decide where Benson and Binsey would study. Oblivious of the decision and the gravity of the problem, the little ones returned home. The same evening, the government came up with a solution to the crisis. The solution was that Benson and Binsey would remain on the rolls of the Kaidakuri government LP school, but would be taught at home by a teacher appointed by the government. Is this the right solution? Should HIV children be confined to their homes? Bincy is seven and Benson five. At this tender age, they have no playmates. Their world is confined to Bincy Bungalow, their home, and their dog is their only friend. Not many dare to visit them. It is left to their maternal grandparents, Givargi's Johnny and Sali Kutti, to attend to their needs. Givargi's, a retired army hand, finds it difficult to manage the life of the four with his meager pension. The children have hazy memories of their family, who were consumed by the dreaded disease, AIDS. Betty Mole, the eldest, was the first to die. Their father, Casey Chandi, died of AIDS in 1997. Three years later, their mother, Mary John, too, succumbed to AIDS. 
AIDS now haunts Benson and Binzi. They have no friends to play with and no school to go to. They live an ostracized life as others fear that they would contract AIDS. AIDS is a disease state caused by the human immunodeficiency virus. This virus is present only in humans. It is not present in animals. It is not present in nature. It is not present in air, water or food or in insects. So it spreads only from humans to humans. It is an infectious disease, but it is not very infectious in nature. And the virus is present in uh, fairly large quantities in blood, in uh, in uh, vaginal fluid, in semen, and also in breast milk. And these are the vehicles of transmission. Generally, it does not spend it, spread through other ways. But society continues to attach a stigma to those who have AIDS. Family members shun the patients. While most are left to die unattended, some fortunate ones spend their last days in rehabilitation centers. AIDS is a major health problem, which agencies such as the Kerala State AIDS Control Society are striving to contain. But the task is daunting as the disease has afflicted thousands. See, as regards uh, AIDS patients, uh the uh, estimated number is around uh, 1,200. Uh, that is full-fledged AIDS patients. Of course, regarding the HIV-infected uh, persons, we have a rough estimate of around 70,000, which may go up to 1 lakh. But regarding the children, uh, we have an estimated number of uh, uh, 55, around 55, 60 children are in the state and uh, they are, most of them are going to the schools. Uh, at least some of them may have uh, special tuition in some care centers. But, Bensi and Benson are the unfortunate ones. Though they are good at studies, they have had to run from one school to another during the last two years. Bensi, the older of the two, has a happy picture of a school where she studied once. For her, school is a nice place to be, with loving teachers and playful classmates. Now, there aren't many schools in the vicinity of their home willing to accept them. They have approached many a school. While in some schools, they were denied admission. In some others, they were admitted only to be expelled later. They secured admission into Kaidakuri Government LP School after fasting before the Government Secretariat at Tiruvannandapuram. But once they were admitted, all the other children were withdrawn from the school en masse. For two days, the school functioned only for Binsi and Benson. Not everyone had objections to Binsi and Benson studying in the school along with their children. And the teachers were more than willing to teach them. Yangalan or Ere, you would have a younger admission registry for Padane, Nutipane Gutta Chartat. He Nutipane would tell a young Padipigan, young Badisra. Young of the Kutta Ethereum Padipigan is Sandoshul. But a section of the public, misinformed as they were, opposed the admission of Binsi and Benson. 
They had apprehensions that it was not safe that those who have tested HIV positive should mingle freely with others. There, are, there have been about 60 million HIV infected people in the world. Of them, 10% are children. And in the school situation, there's not a single case reported where a child has transmitted HIV infection to another child. So just because of this, you know that it does not occur normally. See, but then people are naturally very anxious. One thing they say is, like, see in the school, children might share sweets, they might share food. It does not, HIV infection does not spread that way. The another thing is, another thing they say is, like what happens if a child bleeds and the blood falls on the body of another child. See, the virus cannot pass through intact, healthy skin. So even if a blood, for even if blood of an infected child uh, gets into contact with the skin of another child, nothing happens. The virus is, is not dangerous. But then the question comes, what happens if uh, the blood of a child gets into a fresh wound of another child. But this is an extremely remote occurrence. So even then, the chances of this occurring must be quite remote. Then one of the doubts raised to us, what happens if a child bites? Even in a bite, see, there's no transfer of blood as such. There's only transfer of saliva. If at all there is any transfer, saliva does not contain enough viruses to transmit the infection. Such explanations have not dispelled the fears of the people in Kaidakuri. The tragic fact remains that Binsi and Benson have received a raw deal. The futility of tutoring them in isolation is questioned by their home tutor. Averted a peer group in a hour is it in a classroom, the Padikin, the Russo, how we kill him, Beatle, and the Gutiel, or Tepati, the Padikima, Kitila. Adapanyana lay a tra Midkan Idlur, Saru Jarcharim, Avuru, Andresham, Create Giano, Akutil, Atheratil, Aulasatende, Idilkundu, and the Kova working group working in Totting Little Katangal or Katakundu and Yanga Patatilla. Either an Akutil. School in the Portaki, Pratigam School, Viti Kudutal, and him, Eury Padimidil, Akutia good. For Bincy and Benson, their grandparents are their only companions. In their advanced age, the old couple has been made to face a grave crisis involving their grandchildren. The grandmother, Sali Kuti, is asthmatic and suffers from blurred vision. Her prayers are not for her health, but for the health of her grandchildren. The loss of her daughter and son-in-law to AIDS and her grandchildren's suffering has convinced her that AIDS could be restricted from consuming an entire family. This <laughs> Vivaga, the Agana, the Anna, Eto, Nala, the Aika, in the Iduvala, Utigaleo, Penkutigaleo, Porato, Talana, the Samu, and Burkana, the Oka, Valare, Dusagarama, with a Sangari Ale, Imada, Virakal, Sadik, and the Vurikari, on a government, Adana Eto, Pintunai, and Nilkana, and Yan Ingloda, appear the Giana. Children like Binsi and Benson have no friends. No organized efforts have been made to mitigate their hardship as is being done in the case of full-blown AIDS patients. The Bishop Kundugulam Memorial Rehabilitation Center at Trishu is one of the organizations that provides comfort to AIDS patients in their last days. The nuns who nurse these patients have seen the death of at least 160 of them in the past years. And they believe that the society should be more sympathetic to those afflicted by AIDS. This 
ഈ പ്രാക്ടിക്കൽ അവയർനെസ് കൊടുക്കാനായിട്ട് ഇത്തരത്തിലുള്ള കെയർ ആൻഡ് സപ്പോർട്ട് സെൻറ്റർ അത്യാവശ്യമാണ് ആ ഒരു അവയർനെസ് കിട്ടിക്കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ വീടുകളിൽ തന്നെ ഇവരെ ശുശ്രൂഷിക്കാനും പരിചരിക്കാനും ഇന്നത്തെ സമൂഹത്തിന് കഴിയണം ഈ എയ്ഡ്സ് തൊട്ടതുകൊണ്ടോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ സ്പർശിച്ചതുകൊണ്ടോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഒരേ പ്ലേറ്റിൽ നിന്ന് ഭക്ഷണം കഴിച്ചതുകൊണ്ടോ ഒന്നും പകരാൻ ഇടയില്ല അതുകൊണ്ട് ഇത്തരത്തിൽ എയ്ഡ്സ് ബാധിതരായ കുട്ടികളെ നമ്മൾ മറ്റുള്ള കുട്ടികളിൽ നിന്ന് മാറ്റി നിർത്തുന്നത് ഒട്ടും ശരിയല്ല Benson and Binsey are not the only children who have fallen victim to this apathetic attitude of society. As many as 30 HIV infected children are reported to have been denied school education in different parts of Kerala. This in a state that boasts high literacy, high health standards and a high social consciousness. The academic session has ended. Next year, Benson will be in the second standard and Binsey in the third. But will there be a school for them and other HIV positive children like them? <laughs>